បានដាញ់ផ្សាយព័ត៌មានកម្ពុជាវត្តសុស៊ីអំអិនសូមស្វាគមន៍លោកអ្នកនាងមិត្តអ្នកស្ដាប់ទាំងអស់ពីរដ
ដោយសារតែបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបាន
អាទីឡាយូវ៉ើសតូលីគីដាជាអតីតអ្នកកសាយនៅប្រទេសទូរគីត្រូវបានគេស្គាល់ថាជាសមាជិកនៃចលនារបស់លោកហើយសាលាអ
มีปัญหาปีปัญหาปีเมยคือปัญหาคอมพลีทีเบลเดงเมียนทาปัญหาการปรุงสมบัติเพียรบางทีปัญหาที่ปีคือปัญหาเยอะๆทั้งนั้นเราการบอกฉลองปัญหาที่มวยในยี่ห้อปีสมบัติเพียรกำลังสมบัติเพียรแต่ยังเอาคำภาษีเบลเดงคือเยอะข้อของปียูมันดิสโซสเหมือนกันตัวยูมันดิสโซสยังจานดอกเตลือการศึกษาปรุงบางการศึกษาปรุงมันสกปรกนี้เจ็บปวดอย่างติดจับสติบัตรที่ไทยเลยมุกเชียร์ไอ้กระเพงเซ็งๆตอนใกล้เคียงจ้องเยี่ยมปีกับพลาสติกเดิมคือจ้องเยี่ยมปีสมัครเพียบกาปรุงสมัครเพียบในประการปีเยื่อเยื่อกระเพงสกอร์หายคือกาปรุงสมัครเพียบจะเยื่อคือดาวอัตอนสมัยปัจจุบันเตอไว้ได้เยื่อเชียวกัดคือเนื้อดักนอมแบบซาลปีจุดนอนสังเครียนกอดในมิ้นในเนื้อกาให้ดักดับสอบในกาปราปราจะแนะนำระบบกอดตามสมัยสังเครียนโดยใช้สิบตุยนึงสเปียสัตว์มาเยื่อในเยธาสมัยสองเกลียนเกย์ประการเนคราหันสมัยสามตรามเกย์ประการเนเจบาดตอนนี้เจสไนยังเลยไปกำจัดเยอะคือเนคราหันโดยดักหนอมจึงเอาไว้ได้เจียสมัติพิบกวาดคือปราการกลุ่มเพื่อนหายปราพิษาอักเสบเซ็งเซ็งคอยเมียนกาเลือกเลือกกลุ่มเพื่อนเดียดเมียนเปรตเลือกกลุ่มเพื่อนอยู่เฉยเอาไอ้ปราปราพิษาอักเสบเซ็งเซ็งบาดนี่คือเจียอักสมัติพิบเอาไว้ได้ยังเมื่อเคยคือเจียอักสมัติพิบบอกฟังก่อนไปในเดียดคือการสับปรกการเล็บปอบาดการสับปรดการเล็บปอเคลนี้คือเจียเอาไว้มวยบาดคางที่พบโลกตัวนี้คือชกประปราติหายเจ้าเอเยธาคือชกประปราการต่อสู้ถึงชมกเคลียสลับเรือติหายคือหาสันพรมเทศนาอัพโพลคือชกประหายเกิดประดายหลักคือประการในเยเคลียเกิดประคอมมิเนคชั่นสเกลคือประสมัครพิจารณาในเยเคลียบาดสภาพที่เดินเดินเลยในการปฏิเยงคือปัญหาที่มวยจะจับปีกงซาหลังเตยยังมีอุปสรรคพลังพลังสาบาดเดมิสติกไวเลนส์ปกติจานปลาทารันทิงเชื่อบกวัดคือเพียบเชื่อเมตตาบิดาบกวัดนกาปุริโตงคือปลาดาบมาจระจาบาดจังไรนี้ไอ้ดาบโตงคอมล้างโตปุริโตงต่อไปคือเด็กนั่งจิตสายคอลออฟเดมิสติกไวเลนส์บาดคือดีไซน์จะหยุดจับนี่คือปัญญาตีมุ้ยบาดจะยังเฟิร์นท้าปฏิจจปฏิปรดยังเมียนเนคณะไวเลนส์อัพโพลนุชราบาดไวเลนส์นุชราเจ้าการเกิดการเยี่ยมคายเรื่องการปัจจัยการมาเพียบเจ็ดสบายนี่คือปัญหาเจ้าตัวนึงกับภาษีเบี้ยงเบี้ยงเบี้ยงเคยไทยเนี่ยดักน้อมคือกับพงการเมียนปัญหาจราบฮะปัจจัยเจ้าอาได้เชื่อมเยี่ยนี้ถ้าเขากับภาษีเบี้ยงเบี้ยงนึงจะจับซอยนี้อัตเตอร์ตัวไว้ตัวทางตามเซตเตอร์เบี้ยงเราเคยในปัจจุบันนี้ยังเรียนยุบชวนได้เรียนหาจากดิโมกราฟิกเชิงคือการพลัดดูในปัจเจศาการพลัดดูในปัจเจศาปัจจบันเรียนยุบชวนได้เรียนอายุเป็นเชียงสามสตรัมนึงเรียนต่อไปหกสตรัมเพียรอยบาทหกสตรัมเพียรอยหายยุบชวนถึงอันนู้นสุดท้ายแต่เชียงเนี่ยได้เรียนไฟไดโครงการประประปัจเจศาปัจเจศาเรื่องเทคโนโลยีประประปปอนบันไดยังกลมโซโซเมเตียปราปราตูสับไดแซลโฟนไฮคอร์ดรูปไฮเชียไฮจิตใจกรรมเพียบปัจจัยไอเดียเดินไปยืนหลังบ่อเตะคือยืนตัวตูบานใจนะไฮเดินยืนมือเครื่องเนี่ยตาตาบอสล็อตชั่มพิพอลหลับบ่อยยืนเครื่องทาปัจจุบันจะใจอยู่ปัจจุบันจูนได้สักตาสโลการสับสายเรื่องการบอสล็อตไฮการบอสล็อตคงสังกัดเพื่อนในนี้คือยืนเครื่องอยู่ปัจจุบันจูนสักตามจราบโดยเฉพาะอันนี้เจียไว้ในยืนหาตัวอัพเทนิสเจียสโตเปติมิยมเราบางยืนจะพูดกับพัสดีเดินเราบางยืนจะเมียนจะเมียนสมัยใครอยากไว้ในยืนเมื่อคืนคือเมียนกาบคือเมียนจะมาพอเขาเรียนหายเรื่องจุดนอนทำไมสักการนี้ได้ยังไม่เคยหายเจ้าเกิดท้าเรื่องมันอายเรื่องคอนฟ lict จุดนี้เลยได้มันอายเรื่องจุดนี้เลยตอนใต้อาเวียดสำคัญนั่นคืออยู่ปิดจอมบาร์ตอนปลายเซนตอนใต้เนี่ยโยบายเซนจ้าบาร์ตอนเราเราสั่งบาร์เดินตาประตูประตูเคลียร์อาเวียดสำคัญคือสมอยยืนหัวเคลียร์จุยเคลียร์ทางกาปรุงสมัติเพียรบาร์มีกระพาสติกเบลเลยนั่นจะมาตีมวยจะมาตีปีได้ชมตรงเลยม็อกคือยุติทัวร์โครงการริจอมกาบัชนาปีดามไลการริจอมรถชาติบาลยุติโครงการบัชนาตีบาดคือโดนน้ำเงินกำลังครั้งล้างสิสักครั้งตอนใต้จีบบวชสักครั้งม็อกเที่ยงปฏิปฏิจิตปฏิไตเที่ยงปฏิปฏิมณีปีเตตาคาบัชนาปีท่าปฏิเวียดนามอับบัชนาปี
hay ở với đại thiên niên một đại thiên từ ca từ đại lo năm xe tĩnh buồn không được cả đấy với thân tha của nạn tăng tan trong cả đại lo ban phi ca ban là đây đây là nguồn thông đây chỉ sản xuất sản xuất chung một chi chung một đại lo có mọi bên là chi chung một nói hay khiom a châu đồng hồ chậm lại a châu tây mơ lát sau đại lo bản với bà hà không khiom nơi không có cột rắm sọc thịt rắn khát tiền biệt nơi địa phương gần nhà của chúng hai châu trong đây là ta không đi đã tạm na chi nè nhóm châu đấy đã lấy cái nhà lái đất trong đằng biển và đằng biển hay người ta đang làm phát lót hay cái scan à à tập đoàn đam đa sự nghe đòi còn là cái trong đó mà cho cái rót thái thì nên sạch sẽ là được bao nhiêu nè còn là cái đặt thang và cái công dụng phong cái gì nè cái đó là cái scan luôn đi và cái scan mà từng mua là dùng đi đi Nếu chưa chẳng định ổ, nâng cao bật tác lập phòng sản phẩm Nếu chưa chẳng định ổ mươi dưới nước, còn đây chẳng định là mình ổ mươi dưới nước, chứ không chẳng định riêng ổ mươi dưới nước, chứ không chẳng định riêng ổ mươi dưới nước Chỉ mỗi khi dưới nước, chẳng định ổ mươi dưới nước, chứ nó sẽ sắp trọng thiết thay khả Và sắp trọng thiết thay khả Thôi nhẹ đây bằng lại, đây là dân ca bảo sản phẩm Như chỉ chuyên đá mình đến sản phẩm thiết thay khả bật lòng Mình dưới lòng tí bật lòng tí bật l Ini juga jauh cepat. Ini kerja kerja bahasa komputer asal, tetapi dia tidak tahu bagi semua orang bahasa, tidak tahu format dan bagi wifi sembang dan bagi kerja tak sihat bahasa. Karena kerja tak sihat bahasa, bagi orang yang berada di Kanada, kerja kerja bahasa itu bagi orang yang berada di Kanada, kerja tak sihat bahasa bagi orang yang berada di Kanada, kerja tak sihat bahasa. แต่ตัวเจ้าบ่อยังเริ่มสมัยยังสมัครตัวสั่งบ่าวแต่สมัยยังสมัครตัวบางอาเจ้าจะไม่อาจตัดสินบางบางทีชวนเกิดประกาศเจ็ดสายถ้าจะตัวตัดสินมาเจ็ดสองก็เรื่องมันจะเรื่องตำราเพียบได้แล้วมันจะเป็นกระบวนการจะเป็นกิตติถ้าจะเป็นกระบวนการที่ใบแต่ก็เป็นเรื่องที่เป็นความคาดจานะตอนแรกยังเป็นกิตติได้อยู่เลยแต่ที่ใบคือการได้เหมือนอันยากคอยตัวรถมาในกราบตีบ้านเดินสุดบัชนาบ่าวจะได้ดีขึ้นสำคัญนะเออเครื่องส่งมือแต่ที่โกกาได้ไปยืนที่เครื่องอัพไปยืนที่อารามอัพไปยืนที่สถานบริโภคไปเซ็นเซ็นยึดโกกาโกกาที่เมื่อคืนเราสักเท่าไหร่เนี่ยบัตรการเชื่อมโยงในกรงเดียร์ตาตีสามสิบบ่ายหรือยี่ห้าแต่เชื่อมโยงรถมาตึงเรือนในตีนากระดอยในกราวเทศได้ในกราวเทศได้รถเมื่อการตาบัตรเจ็ดโกกาตอนเปียนในกาเปียนแต่เชื่อมโยงรถตัวหนึ่งบ่าตัวรถมาเนี่ยในกราวเทศยืนเมียนแต่ช่วยกับความเสียเสแต่ตัวตาวัดท่านบาสแม่เมียนตัวเมียกับตาลูกมาเย็นตราบเสพน่าสมมติบางท่านบอกโอนแล้วที่เมียนจะบอกอะไรไหมตอนตาตาตาเวลาจะสิบเจ้าคือสุดแล้วเลยหรอเอาผมมาหายเลยถอดหากาโกซังด้วยกาสายศาสนากาสายแบบพวกมาเยอะเอ่อแบบวัดแบบพวกเชี่ยนรัฐบาสเมียนคือช่วยเลยช่วยเลยวัดแต่ทำไมเมียนช่วยเอ่อรัฐบาสเมียนช่วยเอ่อทักกาบอกวัดพวกวัดคือโครงการคลังจีนสถานที่มาแบบนี้โครงการพับซ้ายแบบไปในแบบชั่วศาสนาเซ็งๆบ้านส่วนในยูเนติเตียนอะไรส่วนมีสัตว์ข้าศึกเดินเชนสุดบอสลอบบอสโบราณมาในกราบที่คือตัวบ้านตรงนี้ตัวรถทักษะมันเลยมีตราที่สามสิบเดือนเลือกในมีตราที่สามสิบเดือนยี่จะบ้านนะตัวรถมาตรงที่เพื่อตัวเราในที่มาก็ได้เดินสุดโจรูบอสลอบเลือกโชว์ชั่วโมงไปเจอบอสลอบบ้านเลือกสมัยโอซ่าชนะมาเพื่อนบริกาสุดได้เอาการสักจีเจ็ Bạn ạ ở nhà ở chỗ rộng máy nơi cảm thấy bạn bỏ sản Nên khi chuyện tất cả chiếc xe đàn và cạp nguyên là trong một quân của bộ đôi cao sập bầy Bạn bỏ tư bỏ sản cao bầy bầy và hô to đi mò Tư chỗ đó thì bạn tạo xe chất bỏ sản bỏ bộ đôi cao là cảm thấy Hãy bỏ sản bỏ tư và thạc tư ở tại xe tư Bỏ bộ đôi nguyên sức Còn đây tư tư sẽ bỏ vườn hóa Tư chọc một nguyên ai nơi sọc máy Cho chỗ bỏ sản bỏ đó Hãy bỏ tư bỏ sản tư sẽ bỏ vườn hóa Tư bỏ sản bỏ đó tiết Hãy bỏ vườn hóa Tư gì chứ Thả bỏ đá như gì làm ấy 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 Thả bỏ đ Alai apa jenis kata dia tu? Kenjir C. Alai sekarang dia jadi dah siap bahan kesian dikat dengan ayam sunshai bagi api bal petian pelai tenang dia kata sejuk dengan ayam cia hanya di sini saya sempat kalah hamsa keng bagi petian sebelum dia jalan dengan petian dan bayi ayam pecana pras tay semacam tenang dia tiang mereka dapat bayi ruk ayam pecana langsung dengan kata saya yang baik dan baik dunia sebab snob dengan petian perut saya nak kerap tu. Sông chí đất xa và chưa phải rất may là cao một tí Rương tiêu bao ôi đi lại tỉ mít Nói là một tí tỉ bấy Đã liên trọng luôn bằng cách chương mà liên cả lá Xong tiền liên mà liên cả lá Thế nên lâu ở cao xa chí chiếc và bài cao xa làm cao bấy Liên phải gây xài Đến đây là đó xoay đi Xong ti
มาไปเจอเรื่องกลางเรียนจังมาเรียนกลางตัวเต้นเรียนเนี่ยได้ตัดดาวสุดเขาตาเจอเรื่องเดียวได้ปีสุดบัสนาบ้างให้บางอย่างยิ่งที่มาตั้งกาจากที่เชื่อมเราเนี่ยตาที่มาทายมวยยิ่งตัวเงี้ยจะบ้าบองที่ปวดรัดเลือดน่ากระดาษเดียวสุดบัสนาเจอเรื่องเราเลยได้เรื่องสุดต้นมือสกัดยิ่งเจอเรื่องสุดต้นสกัดจะนะบอกเออเดี๋ยวเลยจะสักไหมเลือดสารีไปเจอจะตัดได้ไหมนะจะเลยไปเจอบอกเออจะเสียบทมาตามที่เจอสารีเลยตัวเราเลยจะหายไม่เฉยเลือดหายไม่เฉยดังนั้นท่าเจอเรื่องไปบ้านอันตรายแบบเบาที่อภิบาลสกัดจะสักไหมอีเจ้าเราไทยบาลดักนอนดักแพ้บ้านนี้อยู่บ้านคนต่อไปชิลามันเป็นเจ้าพรามเรียนนี่แหละนะมันไม่ได้อาบิวสักกันแต่ที่บ้านคนมาตราสักจังสมเป็นมาจับกันนะครับปีนี้ก็แบบปีนี้ก็เริ่มส่งมาบ้านที่ไหนเออปีนี้ส่งจีเจียธาเยี่ยมกาโครงการเพื่อการรับสื่อเพื่อให้ยืนยันจุดจุดจังเพื่อเชื่อมั่นตรงนี้จะไม่เกิดจุดบ้าเกิดจุดบ้าท่าจะบ้านความเย็นจะบ้านจังก็เห็นสมบัติจัดเต้ก็เลยว่าที่พี่จะอนุมัติบาดไอ้ที่พี่จะสมัครเป็นบอกโอนในวันเป็นบีซีสภาวิจิเนียในแม่แล้วแต่บางทีสิ่งใดการพิจารณาพิจารณาแบบนี้เราการเทียบยังบางเนี่ยเราถ่ายเงินตัวเนี่ยจะเป็นตำนานในที่นี้บางตัวเนี่ยบางตัวจะสมัครเป็นในที่นี้ได้บางไอ้ยังสักการพิจารณาเดี๋ยวจะตอบเสียงสมัครเป็นแบบจะสมัครเป็นโลกเกิดขึ้นจุดสีอ่ำอันพิจิตรบางแห่งดำรงสายจุดปุ่มปิดบัตรสังคมกัมพูชี Lần sống chơi Dr. Christine Su. Dr. Christine Su, she is the former director of the Center for Southeast Asian Studies at Ohio University and is currently an international retention specialist at the College of San Mateo in California. So would you please share your knowledge and information about the role of media and what needs to be done. Thank you. As yesterday, I apologize. I cannot present in Khmer. She's from Khmer, but I'm afraid that I, in getting wanting to get my points across, I might not be able to speak Khmer well enough. So I will present in English. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Fifteen minutes. Hello, it's me again. Before I do that, though, I just want to thank all of the summit committee members again for inviting me to come here. I realize that I'm sitting amongst people who have been working on these issues for years and years, and I'm really humbled to be here. And I'm really appreciative of the opportunity, and I especially want to say that I thank you for allowing me to speak in English. But perhaps next year, my Khmer will be good enough to speak in Khmer. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is something called the Khmer Generations Project, and it's a new project and an initiative I wanted to share with you and hopefully get some feedback on. Before I start, I just want to call your attention to a quote that's up there on the screen, and that is, "The universe is made of stories, not of atoms." And I think that's a really important quote and something that helps to frame the discussion here. It speaks to the elemental, the basic nature of stories and how important they are, um, because as human beings, it's not necessarily the scientific facts that have meaning for us; it's the stories about them. And that's the basic premise for the My Generations Project. It's built on the belief that everyone has an important and meaningful story, and that each story holds transformative power. And then this, just this past couple of days, I've been meeting new people and hearing their stories, and I cannot even express how impactful that has been. How incredibly inspiring! Even if the stories were sad, just how inspiring they've been. And I didn't get any sleep the night before last, but I went home a little early last night. But I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about all the stories that I'd heard. So why are stories important? First, stories inspire, as I just mentioned. Facts and form and arguments can persuade, but a well-told story can reach out and inspire. I could stand up in front of you and just read a lot of statistics, read a lot of facts. But I think telling a story is much more inspiring. This is a photo of Dr. Rahim, whom you may know, a Khmer American,、um, whose story is just as inspiring as any.、Um, and I, unfortunately, we don't have、uh, internet access, and I would show you a short video of his story. Stories also connect us. Something about telling one story and hearing one story brings people into each other's presence. And I'll just share something with you. The photo there is of one of my former graduate students, named Hakim. Um, Hakim is from Indonesia, and if you know anything about Indonesia, you know it's many, many, many islands—16,000 or more islands. And Hakim came to be part of my master's program at Ohio University. And in many master's programs, you're required to write a thesis,、um, and it's a very extensive writing project. It can be several hundred pages. It's a lot of graphs and tables and whatnot. But Hakim, who's from the island of Sulawesi, he came to me and he said, "Dr. Su, I don't think I can write a thesis." And I said, "Why not, Hakim? You're very..." Literally, you're so intelligent. Why can't you write a thesis? And he said, 
I want to contribute something to the field of Southeast Asian studies, and I don't think I can do it through 200 written pages. So I said, okay, Hakeem, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to tell a story. So I was thinking to myself, okay, I wonder how the president of the college is going to feel if I let someone tell a story and give him a master's degree. But I said, okay, explain to me what you'd like to do, Hakeem. And Hakeem said, on the island of Sulawesi, where I'm from, we speak hundreds of different languages. And in Indonesia, as you know, they were colonized by the Dutch. And when they were involved in, in nationalism and trying to get away from colonialism, they, one of the things they decided to do was to make a national language to unite the many different islands. And so they created a language called Indonesian. So every citizen of Indonesia speaks Indonesian, but many of them also speak their other languages. So from Sulawesi, from Sumatra, from Java. And Hakeem said, well, there, there's this one language and a certain kind of storytelling in South Sulawesi and it's dying. It's a dying language because nobody wants to speak it anymore. It's, it's called Takao and nobody uses it except when they're fishing and everyone wants to speak Indonesia and all the young people, they want to go, they want to leave the island so it's dying out. And there are two women, two elderly women in their 90s and they're the last people who know how to speak this language. And what I would like to do for my master's project is I would like to go and learn this language and tell the story of this language. So he did. He went to a little island off of his island to meet with these two ladies. Um, and one that he met with specifically, and if I had the internet, I'd show you a little clip of the video, but I um, mean Makoto. And Makoto is 90, maybe 94, and the wittiest personality you could ever imagine. And he lived with Makoto for about a year, and he learned the language, and he learned something called Iko Iko, which is how um, the Bachao teach their children about their history. And so what he did was he learned this entire history, and he came back to Ohio University, and he performed it as his master's thesis uh, in front of an auditorium. And I have to tell you that that was one of the best master's projects I've ever supervised. It was just incredible. And I thought to myself, Hakeem, you were just right. I couldn't have read 200 pages and gotten the same thing from that as I did with you telling this story. So stories can inspire, stories connect us, stories bring us into each other's presence, and they also document. And when a story dies, a little bit of history dies, which is why it was so important that Hakeem tell the story of Makoto. I think people's stories should be shared so they can be kept alive. Stories also fill in the blank. I think these two events contribute perspectives that fill in the gaps in documented history, in book history, I'll call it, sometimes correcting or even contradicting the written record. And the photo you see here is of uh, Lokhan Chowan, who lives in Australia, and he has a, a film called Camp 32. Has anyone seen it? No. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I wish that I could show you a clip of it, but Lokhan left in 1979, left Cambodia in 1979, and went to live in Australia and spent most of his life there. And the documentary is about him going back to Cambodia to, to see what happened. And are any of you familiar with the Document Documentation Center of Cambodia, BC Cam? Yeah. Yeah. It's an organization where they document um, all of the uh, things, the history, the atrocities of the Khmer Rouge. And one of the things they do is they mapped out where the different killing fields, where the different camps were. So when he went back to Cambodia, one of the first things he did was to go to DC Chem. And he looked at all the maps and found that his camp wasn't on there. So in documented fact, it didn't exist, but he knew that it existed. And the rest of the documentary shows him going back to that place and finding who was still alive and, and telling that story. And I bring that up because if we had just gone by the map, the town doesn't exist. <laughs> his, his camp doesn't exist, but certainly it is. Okay, so what's the mission of the Khmer Generations Project? We feel that by documenting and sharing these kinds of stories, the Khmer Generations Project seeks to promote understanding, to support healing, and most importantly, I think, is to facilitate connections between individuals, families, and communities across generations. I'm not sure if they're still here or not, but there were some younger, younger people here, and so this is something I hope you will keep in mind. Before I go into this slide, I just wanted to say that um, during the weekend, there have been several people who said to me, you know, my, my kids and my grandkids, they're just not interested in, in Cambodian history or, or speaking Khmer or anything about, about Cambodia. And I think that's not true. I think they want to know, they want to understand, but they don't know how to ask. And so that's one of the, the um, points, the objectives of this project is how do you ask that question and how do you connect through story? There's another film here, it's called The Last Reel. And if any of you have seen it, then you know it's a really interesting story about a young woman in Phnom Penh, and she's a university student by day and a karaoke bar singer by night. 
much to the chagrin of her parents. And one day she's walking home from the bar. She happens upon an old cinema. It's raining, and so she runs inside a building. It happens to be an old cinema. An older man in there, he's watching a film. And long story short, she comes to know this older gentleman, watching films with him and learning about the past. And it turns out that one of the people in the film is her mother as a, um, a film star before the Khmer Rouge time. And the rest of the film talks about how she gets to know her mother through those stories because she was never able to ask her what had happened with her. So this is just something that the director of this film said, and I think it really resonates with what I'm talking about. Um, the last rule portrays my belief in the overwhelming human need for stories and storytelling as part of the reconciliation process toward restoring a country and a culture that was devastated by genocide and war. It takes courage to open our hearts and minds and to relive what has gone before. So, that's kind of a long introduction to get to what is the project itself. So, the Khmer Generations Project is a digital storytelling project. And what that means is an online project. And in the project itself, we'll teach people who come to our workshops how to create a digital story. Oh my gosh, three minutes? I think I deserve extra time because of the technical difficulties. Um, okay, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. You learn how to create a digital story about your personal experience or someone in your family's experience. We're going to be using computer-based tools to put together a story that can be accessed online using things like photos, documents, text, recorded narrative, video clips, and so on and so forth. So the first goal is to create a user-friendly digital archive of Khmer stories, okay, documenting a broad range of immigrant and refugee experiences. Why do we want to do digital stories? Uh, as some of you know from my speech yesterday, I worked for the Center for Law Studies for quite a while, and we did a lot of oral history work. And any of you who have done oral history know that sometimes you go with the camera and you interview someone for hours and hours and days and weeks and months, and what the end result is is very, very, very long. And unless the person who's interviewed is somebody that you know or that you care about, it's unlikely that you would sit and watch that video for five or six hours. And even if it was someone you knew, maybe you wouldn't sit and watch for five or six hours. So the digital stories are between five and seven minutes long, and you can access them, and then you can watch more than one of them. You can watch a thousand in the time it would take to watch one long oral history interview. So the second goal is we're going to provide training and workshops on how to do this, how to assemble these digital stories. And I, at the very end of this presentation, I'll show you our pilot project for this. So how does it work? It's a series of workshops in which participants who want to have their story told come in and we teach them how to write their story because as an oral history interview, sometimes people kind of meander around and the story doesn't have any you know, set beginning, middle, and end. So we have prompts through which we ask people certain questions and they're able to respond and we can put this story together. After the story is written, and one of my strengths is as an editor, so I will help to edit the story, they record it. They record an audio. And then along with the audio, we put together images for this story. Okay, they, the workshops can be held over a weekend, as I've done before, or they can be held over a series of weekends or over a couple of months. It's really up to the community how they want to do it. And it's a process. Even though the end result is only five minutes, it takes a while to set it up. Okay, so very quickly, this is how the workshop would go. Before the workshop, people would start to collect their documents, collect photos, things they want to have in the video. Then in the first part of the workshop, as I mentioned, we help people to write down their stories through a series of prompts. Then the next workshop, or the second part of the, the workshop, they would record their story okay, and find any other images that they might want to put in maps or uh, general photos, maybe not of their personal experience, but of uh, things in general. And then in the third workshop, they put it all together into a video. And that's a video that can be shared. Um, once the video is done, people can keep it for themselves. They can um, have it kind of as an archive to pass on to their children and grandchildren. Or if they want, they can upload it to the website and it will become part of the archive. And one of the hopes for the archive is that, let's say that you were from Batambong. You can go into the uh, Khmer Generations Project and look for Batambong and see who else's stories are in there. And maybe you'll find the story of someone that you knew long ago and hadn't connected with for 30 years and things like that. So we can have a, a database of different people. The last slide in the book. <laughs> this is a video that I won't show you because we don't have time, but this is an example of how, it, how the um, end product comes, and I'd be happy to share the link with you if you want to take a look at it later. Okay. And the last goal is to use this project to support discussion about my experience between generations. As I mentioned earlier, 
sometimes people can't just go to their parents and their grandparents and say, hey, so tell me what happened in 1975. It's not a question that you can just bring up. And as someone whose father is Khmer, and he did not live through the Khmer Rouge, but his family lived and died under the Khmer Rouge, it's not something I can just go and say, hey, Dad, so how do you feel about 1975? It's just not something that a daughter might say to a father. But we can look for documents together, look at old photos. We can start to connect and start to tell the story. And it's actually been a quite powerful experience for some people. It provides a medium for people to ask the question that they can't ask outright. Okay, let me just put the last slide up. This is the last slide, I promise. This is, the, this is our website. It's KhmerGenerations.org. And if you go there, you can see some of the stories that are already there um, and see what, how it works. And if you're interested, perhaps, in either sharing your story or know someone who might be interested in coming to a workshop, I've given you the, um, the brochures. And the workshops are free. They are provided for the community, and hopefully by this time next year, there will be hundreds of stories for you to look at. So thank you very much. Thank you for seeing your presentation. អំមិនមិញលោកអ្នកនាងទៅទៅបានស្ដាប់តិចជាសារផ្នែកបញ្ចប់នៃវត្តិប្រំពីរឬផែនដល់ ឯនេះនៅថ្ងៃសាលទីប្រំបីខែកក្កដាជាថ្ងៃបញ្ចប់នៃកិច្ចប្រជុំគឺសមាជិកសមាជិកការនិងវាគ្មិនទាំងអស